everybody. So this is a $1,200 PC build, Canadian on Newegg, and the backstory behind this is uh, one of my friends just said I finally saved up for a computer, and then I, I basically just said, well, with graphics cards, the prices have gone through the roof, so maybe just wait, and he's like, no, I want one now. So his budget was $1,200, so this is uh what we i guess what i came up with uh by myself tonight so it comes up to eleven hundred ninety four dollars so yeah just under twelve hundred dollars so i guess we'll just start off with the case and that's a personal preference you can pretty much just buy whatever case you want i just bought like a the cheapest case that didn't look like a trash can, I guess. So, Cooler Master, Master Box, Q300L, Micro ATX case, um, has a dust filter, transparent uh, side panel. It is acrylic, not tempered glass, so it will scratch easier. But at this price, you can't really complain. For the motherboard, we went with a Asus Tough Gaming B450M Plus AM4 motherboard. Um, of course, the B450 chipset, AMD, from ASUS. And at this price, I mean, I pretty much just tried to buy the cheapest one without a ton of compromises. So it has M.2 uh, supports RAM up to 4,000 megahertz, I think. Might go up to 6,428 gigabytes of RAM, more than we need. M.2 supports that all. Uh, so yeah, for the graphics card, we went with the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So this has really good performance. It doesn't have ray tracing, but that's okay. I mean, at this price, it kind of sucks that this is all that we can uh, afford. But, I mean, it is what it is, so this, for $500, it is crazy, but this is the best that we can do, is with this card here. So, 1080p, 1440p gaming, 4K gaming, not really. I mean, one of my friends who has an RX 580, just like I do, he bought a 4K monitor. I'm like, that's a, it's not a very good idea, you should just spend the extra money to get a better video card, but whatever. He has a 580, he bought a 4K monitor. He's like, well, no, I can play some games. If I crank down all the settings uh, while getting a horrible frame rate and I can play at 4K, I'm like, well, what's the point? If you have to like do all those changes and you have a bad gaming experience, if you can play at 4K, like there's really no point. The point of 4K is to enjoy the game more, but you're not really doing that. So anyway, 1080p, 1440p, it's perfect. Okay, for the power supply, again, you do whatever you want, just make sure it's not, like, garbage and doesn't ruin the whole system, because a power supply can potentially do that. So this is the Rosewell ARC 550-watt uh, A-plus bronze 